You know, I think that people want to, people want to, they want to have a good job. They want to be able to put food on their table and provide for their family. Um, they, 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 they want to have a sense of purpose at, like their life counts for something. And, uh, I think people have been sold different recipes on how to, how they're going to get that. And so, you know, p- politically, uh, you know, are, 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 are you going to have somebody who's going to give you those things or give you the opportunity to work for those things and invest in those things? So for the people that have not seen the campfire revival, you are sitting at the campfire right now. You lit the yes, fire please. for us. Hopefully you're not going to self-immolate or burn the flag while we're here but you did this all just as we sat down. Uh, what are you doing over there at the Campfire Revival on, on Instagram and Facebook? Is, is that it? Just, just chat? Well, I know what you're doing. So I'm asking you, yep. I'm, I'm asking as the audience, not as myself. I know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so, so basically, you know, th- this all started, you know, a- after this whole last year and then, wa- and then through the election time and the inauguration and people are talking about the first hundred days of the administration. And, uh, you know, so many of us have been sort of like waiting and hoping for someone else to do something. And we're waiting for this to happen. And I thought to myself, as I'm sitting in my backyard, cooped up in uh, uh, California, where you're where you're bas- basically on, and, and under house arrest and lockdown uh, at the time. Wait a minute what's our plan? What, what's, what, what kind of a hundred day plan could I be a part of that's going to actually promote the positive change rather than just complaining about the things that I don't like to see? And I said, you know what? I don't know the best plan, but I'm going to start a plan and it's going to be, I'm going to sit in my backyard for 100 days in a row and build a campfire. And I'm going to invite other people to join me as we pray, as we uh, worship God, and as we begin to learn what made America the freest, strongest, most prosperous nation in the world. Uh, and and we found that on Facebook Live, we'd have 15 to 20,000 people every single night joining. And the comments were flying. And people made it a destination every night because they, they found hope. And they found something for them to, to talk about with their kids. And uh, we did that for 100 days, called it the American Campfire Revival. And it's all about that inside out strategy, that bottom up strategy that our founders understood and that I think is gonna be the solution to getting us back to where we wanna go. Yeah, what else are you working on right now? Are you gonna be traveling again and spreading the word and getting out there? I mean, you're, you're here in Cali. They, they are, we are opening up apparently at some point. Yeah, that's, that, that's right. Well. Uh, I am working on quite a few things. This American Campfire Revival has been uh, just kind of a surprise joy for me to do, although all of my wardrobe smells like smoke and my <laughs> wife is kind of tired of it. Uh, I'm, I'm roasting like a marshmallow as we speak. Uh, my, my back is my backside is turning golden brown. You just can't see it. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> and um, we're going to we're going to continue this. And I'm, I'm about to start a, another 40 days of the American Campfire Revival speaking about family covenants and then community covenants, church covenants and civil government covenants that kind of all weave together to, pro, to, to form kind of this, this Kevlar fabric that I believe will resist the, 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 the darts of tyranny and totalitarianism. Um, in fact, uh, this is something I wanted to show you. Yeah. This is a, a pledge that I kind of modeled after the Declaration of Independence called Our Pledge to Renew the American Covenant. And it's what we can and affirm together as families and as individuals to get back to these these values. And, and we've signed it here. And um, I'm hoping people will hang this in their wall and talk about it as a family and with their neighbors. And then we have some live events around the country where we gather in fields and fa- fields and farms. Whoa, whoa. You whoa. didn't just. <laughs> no, that's all right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> well, if you dropped the whole covenant in the fire just then, that, that would have. No, no, here it is. We're still good. And. Uh, and, and gather around bonfires and sing and pray and talk about what really matters. And uh, if we have one here in California, I'll make sure you're, that uh, I invite you. I'd love to have you come. I'd love to come. For a second, I thought Newsom was about to try to take you out. I thought, he, you know, because he's got yeah. these snipers <laughs> out there. People are in the backyard having fun with an American flag. Jeez. That's actually the first time that's happened. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I think... If you see any smoke coming from behind me, you let me know, okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I hope you have insurance for this program. Uh, wait, so give me some of the, give me two or three of the, uh, of the, uh, not edicts, of the, of the principles that are on the, on the document oh, yeah. there. Yeah. That's it. Um, let's see. 
Uh, boy, here we go. Uh, we promise to each other as a family to provide for one another as long as we live, as commanded in Scripture. Uh, there's so many others. Uh, we commit to living peacefully, to obeying the laws of the land, and, and working to elect uh, godly, trustworthy leaders who will not abuse their limited power as our public servants and distort our Constitution. So we talk about the, the, the civic realm and also the family realm and also uh, the, uh, the, the, the community realm. And, and, you know, all of it really begins with, with self-government, right? Um, I think this is important. I think people would find this interesting. Uh, when we talk about government, we're usually talking about them, you know, like out there or mm -hmm. up there. We're talking about the government and what they're doing. But in, in our country, our founders understood that that kind of government – will be terrible totalitarian government unless we lay the foundation of self-government. And if we govern ourselves according to the, the rules of right, right, like it's not about left or right, but it's about up or down. And, and if we go up to, the, to, to heaven's rules of right, then we don't need the government with the big stick to beat us back into civility. We've already got that. We got that individually. We got it in our families. We got it in our communities and government can stay limited and small and people have freedom. And so that's really the, the essence. The most powerful culture transforming force in the world is the self-governing person who loves God and loves their neighbor. That's what our founders believed. And that's what I'm trying to uh, communicate to people. Which one do you think is harder for your old Hollywood friends to swallow, the, the belief part or your feelings about government part? Because they, they're probably not thrilled with either. <laughs> you mean uh, government being limited? Yeah, well, that, you believe in small government in the Constitution, that America's good, you know, that, that sort of stuff. Is, or, is, or the belief part, is that harder for them to swallow? Oh, boy. Um, <sighs> I don't know. It, you know, it's all so, so tied together. Um, but a actually, I think that uh, it, it's interesting you said that small government uh, and that America is good. Um, you know, the principles Radical that stuff, I know. is founded I know. on is a are absolutely good. The framework is genius. It's beautiful, but it depends on personal self-government. All of our founders told us that. And the truth is I'm actually for big government, but it's not what you think. It's big self-government. Mm -hmm. It's big family government. And once we take care of that, we, we don't need a big police force because we're doing the right thing at the friend and family level. I think a lot of people are watching this going, what are you two fools still doing in California? I mean, at this, at this point for you, is it, is it just the weather? I mean, you could be doing this in Florida or Cali uh, Florida or Texas or Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, and I certainly understand why people are moving out of here. They're, they're, they're getting out of here like rats jumping off of a ship. Uh, because we're sinking economically and, uh, and, and, and politically. However, uh, I'm all about revival. Look at my shirt. American Campfire Revival. Revival, right? So that means like putting life back into things again, things that are flatlining and dying, reviving them. Um, I think that can happen anywhere. I think it can happen in my marriage. If my marriage is flatlining, I think it can happen uh, in my family, my community. I think it can happen in our state. And so I'm hoping and praying that that America, that, that America and, and starting with California begins to see a, a renewal, a, a revival and a resurgence of the kind of stuff that will cause human flourishing, uh, not human decay. What, what do you think we can do in this crazy state? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm hanging on by a thread, man. I, I know, I hear you. <laughs> I'm here, well, I'm starting with the campfire. Say, all right, all right, fair enough. I'm, all right, that's I'm it, I'm coming, I'm coming to the campfire. And I'm listening to you. And I'm listening to others, and uh, and I believe that there are people with more brilliant ideas than I have that uh, are are gonna are gonna help move us in the right direction, and uh, and I, and I continue to pray for them. Do you find that people across the country, when, when you're traveling, regardless of whether you're red or blue or any of that stuff, that people are pretty much the same? Uh oh, uh oh, what's going on behind you now? <laughs> Um, that people are pretty much the same. What do you mean? Like, uh, re regardless of whether they're red that, or blue. That if you can really get to them, that the stuff that you're talking about is sort of the stuff that they really believe. Some of them just don't know it, maybe. You know, I think that people want to, people want to, 
They want to have a good job. They want to be able to put food on their table and provide for their family. Um, they, 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 they want to have a sense of purpose, at, like their life counts for something. And uh, I think people have been sold different recipes on how to h- how they're going to get that. And so, you know, p- politically, uh, you know, are, 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 are you going to have somebody who's going to give you those things or give you the opportunity to work for those things and invest in those things? Uh, th- that, that's that, that, that's one aspect of it. But I think at the end of the day, if we're talking about values, you know, I, I've got friends who are on the other side of the aisle and, uh, you know, they want the same things that I want. I, I want an opportunity to, to, to provide for my family. I want an opportunity to be able to speak the truth and not be censored for it. I want an opportunity to, to pursue happiness and, and, and not be restricted and controlled and thrown into a cage because uh, somebody disagrees with me. And I, I think there's, there's a very specific way to go about that. And uh, that's what I'm trying to promote. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.